hello today in this video i am going to show you how you can declare a survey data and how you can take out your result by the survey data so first of all uh, if you are having a survey data as you can see i am having a survey data here and in my survey data i have the variables in which so many variables are there in which the answers are in yes or no okay and uh, now first of all what you have to do is you have to declare your survey data so if you want to declare your survey data here first of all i want to tell you that my survey data is by random sampling okay so if i want to declare it then i will use i will go to statistics and in statistics i will go to survey data analysis and then after that i will go to setup and utilities then declare survey design for data set okay so now here uh, it is uh, first of all it is asking for how many stages are there okay you if you have two stages three stages or four stages you can you can go to various stages but i am having only one stage okay and in my stage uh, uh, it is asking first of all what is your sampling unit okay so my sampling in my sampling unit my, i am having the id of the companies and those companies i have taken on the basis of whether the companies are growing companies or these are not growing companies okay so uh, the, it is on the basis of uh, my variable uh, that is uh, uh, that is growth cluster okay and this growth cluster says that uh, which company is uh, is uh, highly growing company and which company is not high growing company okay now one more thing is there that whenever whenever you uh, declare your data to be survey data you have you should have weights okay not necessarily but you if you are having weights then you will have to define first of all you you have to define your weights okay and with weights there is one more thing which you can define is your finite finite population correction okay so for these two things first of all you will have to create these two things before declaring your data to be survey data you should have two things the first thing you you should have is the weights and second thing you should have the finite population correction okay so first of all uh, we will define the weight so it is known that uh, weight is equal to yeah uh, 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 weight is equal to one upon one upon the probability one upon the probability of being selected okay so what is the probability of being selected for a particular company so what is the probability of being selected is that uh, in my survey that i am having a total of 6233 companies in my data and those companies have been taken from all the small and medium sized enterprises of india okay so the total number of uh, small and medium sized enterprises in india are 4,25,000 sorry that is 4 crore 25 lakh companies which are small and medium sized enterprises in india okay so out of those 4 lakh uh, 4 crore 25 uh, lakh companies i have taken 6233 as my sample so and it is random sample so i should have i should have the weights for it so uh, the probability that my that any company will be selected will be equal to probability is equal to 1 upon 1 upon the sorry uh, it, it is it is uh, the probability will be 6000 uh, my total companies that is uh, 6000 6233 6233 divided by total 4 25 lakh 
okay so this is my probability and what what will be my what will be my uh, weight my weight will be weight will be equal to 1 upon probability so 1 upon probability means means 4 4 crore 25 la lakh divided by 6233 okay so now this will be my weight so uh, i am declaring my weights okay so if i want to declare my weights then what i will do is i will i will generate a variable i will generate a variable that is that is uh, let's say uh, you can take any name for variable i am giving the name weight weight src okay weight src and that is equal to 4 crore 25 lakh divided by 6233 6233 okay so this is my weight weight uh, weight src as my variable which is which will indicate my weight and second thing is which i which i need is my second my second thing will be the finite finite population correlation correction sorry finite population correction so my finite population correction that is f p c that is equal to finite population correction is equal to is equal to we uh, i am using here and uh, n divided by greater n okay so it means that it, it is 6000 6000 6233 divided by 4 crore 25 lakh okay so this is my fpc sorry uh, I have to create it first of all so I am creating uh, I am generating so generate generate FPC is equal to this so now uh, both the things have been created and now I can declare my data as the survey data okay so survey data and survey data for I will go here then set up utilities and declare it to be survey data and after that uh, i am having one stage only so in uh, i am having id as the companies and these companies have uh, have been taken from the growth cluster okay so and uh, my finite population will be fpc this is the variable which i have just declared and in my weights my sampling weight variable will be my sampling weight variable will be this one okay so and now i will click okay and now you can see here that uh, my p weights uh, has been shown here and uh, it uh, the model will be um, estimated using linear it will be linearized and then it is uh, showing the strata and uh, how many as you i am having uh, as ID. so uh, this is uh, the declaration of the survey data now if uh, i want to check the various things let us suppose i want to check whether uh, whether the firms uh, which are which are high growth firms uh, and, and non high growth firms uh, have they got the loan or not so for that what i will do is i will use the svy command okay so i will use svy command svy tabulate tabulate svy tabulate growth cluster and new loan growth cluster and second is new loan 
means whether they have got new loan or not i want to know whether whether the high growth companies or low growth companies they have they applied for the loan or not so i want to uh, i want to use svy command for this and uh, with this one so now it is running and uh, as you can see here uh, high growth companies are there which have applied for the loan they have applied for the loan and how many of them have applied 3.34 percent have applied for the loan and non high growth companies have applied for the loan and these are 4.24 okay and those companies which are not uh, which have not applied for the loan and are high growth companies these are 35.33 percent and non high growth companies are which have not applied for the loan these are 57.1 percent okay so and this is the total number and uh, you can see here the probability value also that is 0 0.0122 okay so this is how we can use uh, this command and uh, we can use uh, svy command for other things also let us suppose uh, that uh, we want to know that uh, how many companies uh, those companies which have not applied for the loan here we can see that there are so many companies there are so many high growth companies there are 35 percent of the high growth companies which have not applied for the loan and there are 57.1 percent of the non high growth companies which have not applied for the loan so there there are various reasons why they have not applied for the loans some have not applied for the loan because uh, they were having the problem of the collateral some uh, for some of the companies the interest rates were very high for some uh, some other companies uh, they were not aware of uh, the procedures and so on so there are various reasons and what uh, and uh, what percentage of the companies uh, did not apply for the companies for uh, for the loan uh, because of what reason if we want to know that thing then uh, how we can use svy again for that uh, what we will do is we will use svy again and uh, uh, with svy we will write here sub if this uh, uh, our new this variable this variable and that is the new loan if uh, new loan if new loan is equal to 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 means no if they have not applied for the loan so it is two okay so if new loan is equal to two then tabulate tabulate the growth cluster that is this one okay tabulate the growth cluster and this is the another variable which is why they have not applied for the loan so uh, the various reasons are have been mentioned in, in this variable so why not this variable we will use and uh, now okay uh, so there is uh, some er error here uh, sorry uh, there is one mistake here uh, i should have used a comma here okay everything else uh, is okay so now we will run it and it will give us the result so there are total number of two sweaters number of ps is 6233 and you can see here the population size has been taken as this much okay because we have applied weights and uh, now you can see here the companies uh, high growth companies and non high growth companies high growth companies uh, this variable the, uh, this percentage is don't know means uh, uh, the respondent has uh, not given the answer why why he did not apply for the loan uh, 16 16 percent of the companies are there with uh, which found that uh, there is no need of the loan that is why they did not apply and here second in this applicant applicant two was not aware of the various procedures to in two percent of the companies of high growth okay and uh, interest rate was very high for four 
percent of the companies 4.5 percent of the companies um, okay and uh, for the collateral was the problem for 3.78 percent of the companies okay and so on so in the same way for non high growth companies uh, we have uh, 29 percent of the companies which found that there was no need and uh, applicant uh, means uh, applicant did not apply because of uh, because he was not aware of the procedures that has that four percent of the companies and in case of interest rate was uh, very high in case of uh, non high for uh, some of the companies which was seven percent of the companies and collateral was a problem uh, for six percent of the companies and so on okay so uh, this will tell us uh, this command uh, will tell us that uh, what percentage of the companies have what uh, the various what percentage of the reason uh, if they have not applied for the loan okay so uh, in this way you can use uh, this svy uh, command for uh, calculating other various other things okay so i hope you like my video uh, thanks for watching